So I thought the hive had recovered and was uh, active again, but you'll notice, well maybe you won't, but I've noticed that none of these bees are coming back with pollen. This is a robbing frenzy going on here. Also the plants died, but that's because I forgot to water them. That's uh, yeah, I guess what happened here is they got weak enough that they couldn't defend themselves anymore. So the other hives are coming in and stealing all their honey they had packed away. So this hive is officially dead. Yeah, see how they're ripping open the cells there? Well, I guess what I'm going to do then, they didn't die of disease, they lost their queen, that weakened them, and then they further knocked out by the fact of the light incident. So, I can reuse these combs. And what I'm going to do is take these in, pop them in the freezer, and then seal them up and store them. And I think that's the best thing to do. All right, there's probably the queen cell that hatched. See how it's chewed off from the top here rather than the side, like this. See these bees? They're kind of hovering around this other hive here. They can smell that there's honey and stuff inside this box. But now that I've removed all those combs, they're looking for more. So this hive could be next, even though this hive is probably part of the you know, bees that are actually going and robbing that other hive. So what I'm going to do for now is kind of close up their entrance just to make it more defensible. Like the bees can still get in and out, but it'll be a little bit more protected. You know, you know I don't want to have two hives robbed out today. That can very well happen, even though this hive has got a large population. If they get enough bees coming after them, it'll overwhelm them. When they uh, get in the mood, it's like putting blood in the water. It's like sharks. So I got some vinegar water here. I've just been kind of spritzing it around the hive. The bees won't like the smell of this, so they'll consider leaving the area alone. I don't want to spray the bees really with it. And I don't want to kill the bees because some of these are my bees. But just make this no longer smell like honey. That way they'll leave it alone. Get them to stop swarming it. Yeah, why not? Let's give these guys a little bit of a spritz with vinegar, too. They won't like it, but neither will the bees that want to rob. That'll work. This whole area. If I hadn't have just happened to be walking by this hive, this could have been way worse. Uh, you know, all that honey there could have been gone within a day. So I must have caught this within a couple of hours of the uh, feeding frenzy starting so that's a bit lucky still I am upset that this hive died I don't think it died because it was a flower pot hive it was doing really well it just had some bad luck uh, there was a couple of other hives at the ranch that were the box style hive they've died also you know, for other circumstances it happens at least on the ranch, I don't have a hundred hives attacking like I do here, you know. <laughs> um, if I had to estimate, I'd say there's probably three or four hives that were sending bees. But that number would have went up uh, throughout the day. Let me get this string. I was using this for another project. Let's take that out of there. Alright. That's it for these guys then. So there's the hive. I've got it inside my freezer here. Now, I have to get it down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit in order to kill the moth larva and eggs if there are any. Once I've got them frozen hard enough that I think all the moth larvae is dead, I think what I'll do is take the, uh, you know, take some tweezers, pull out any larva that uh, died in the cells, and then I'll just uh, put it back in the flower pot and then 
put the whole thing in a trash bag, seal it up, and stick it in the basement till next spring. Uh, let's head out to the ranch and uh, see if uh, my other top bar hive is doing okay. So that's why you're making so much noise. Got a baby. Hello there. Where are you, one, one and a half days old? Yeah, looks like you're alright. Oh good, this hive is still active. There's a spider web out front of it. Yeah, looks like they're good. Bringing back sunflower pollen probably. I'm gonna take a peek in here to see how far back they are. Oh yeah, looks like they filled over half the hive. Well, that's good news. Oh, and this tree's still alive. I thought for sure the grasshoppers would have munched this. I guess the turkeys have been keeping them down enough. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time.